Welcome back to Morning Markets on Friday the 12th of February. George Bell here, investment analyst, to bring you up to date on the key market moves over the last 24 hours. Looking first at data economic data prints, yesterday we had the US initial jobless claims data for the week ending February 6th. The data demonstrated the number of Americans making initial filings for unemployment support fell by 19,000 from the week prior, taking the total level to 793,000. Initial claims for pandemic unemployment assistance, which covers those who are not traditionally eligible for unemployment benefits, such as the self-employed and contractors, were down by 34,400 to a level just over 330,000. So there's a number of reasons to be positive about this data over the week. And when looking at the same data on a four-week rolling basis, it suggests a positive trend is forming. And we can refer back to the January unemployment rate, which fell 0.4% to 6.3%, last month for an example. Despite the trend being positive, when we look at the two sets of numbers reported yesterday, it demonstrates the number of Americans claiming initial support continues to sit at over 1 million per week, increasing the pressure from several parties, including Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell, for the Democrats to push through the fiscal support package through Congress. This stoked a modest reaction from the bond markets. The yield on 10-year Treasury bonds moved out two basis points to a level of 1.16%, and on the 30-year, yields pushed out four basis points to a level of 1.95%. The US dollar was slightly weaker on the day on a trade-weighted basis. In equity markets, main indices S&P 500, they were supported by the technology sector. Total index return on the day was 0.17%. The NASDAQ, which is more technology-focused, up 0.38%. Both outperforming smaller cap indices, such as the Russell 2000, up 0.13% on the day. It was a stronger day for Europe. The Euro stocks 50 up 0.64%. That was really driven by technology and semiconductor producers. The power of tech companies really looks to, to increase in Europe, as data demonstrated yesterday that there's been an increased appetite for initial public offerings from European companies so far in 2021, with 84 billion euros being raised so far. So that's the second highest rate in terms of IPOs um, since 1998. And 70% of this has been coming from companies who benefit from technology-driven business models in areas such as retail and logistics. Within bond markets, the most significant moves were seen yesterday in Italian debt, the yield on 10-year government bonds coming in 4.8 basis points to a historic low of 0.45%. This momentum builds around the expectation that former European Central Bank President Mario Draghi will stave off the political crisis within the country following the collapse of the ruling coalition last month and help really drive a structural reform in Italy. In the UK, sterling's flat on the day relative to the euro and the US dollar at 1.14 and 1.38. In equity markets, the FTSE 100 is up 0.07% and the broader FTSE 250 up 0.1%. In oil markets, Brent crude was down 1% to $61 a per barrel after both OPEC and the International Energy Agency discussed the impact renewed lockdowns and the emergence of new COVID variants could have on demand. No real surprise there. We are all aware of the current restrictions and how that factors into activity data. Overnight in Japan, the Nikkei closed down 0.14%. Australian markets slightly lower after a snap lockdown was imposed across Victoria State. Markets are closed across China for, for the Lunar New Year holidays. That's all for now. Thank you for watching and we look forward to bringing you up to date on Monday morning. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to the True Potential YouTube channel. If you have any questions or requests for future videos, let us know in the comments.